Hello, English learners. Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco, and I'm Erica. And today we're bringing you our great suspense, scary series, our thriller, our thriller, New Guy in Town, Part Four. All right. Well, I don't want to give you any hints about what will happen in this dialogue. Yes, it's totally unexpected. So. So let's listen to our dialogue, and then we'll come back and talk about some of the great vocabulary. All right, drag her, <clears throat> drag her over here, and help me tie her up. I can't believe she fell for it. She is a lot more gullible than I thought. Well, you gotta admit, my acting was brilliant. <laughs> Whatever. I was the one that convinced her to come. Look, she's waking up. What's going on, Ellen? What are you doing? The cat's out of the bag, you witch! You can stop pretending now. Yeah, Lois. We know who you are. Now we want some answers. Why are you here? Well, I certainly didn't see that one coming. I know everyone thought that Armand was a vampire. And, I know. And now it turns out that they were acting. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, huh? Strange things happen here on English Pod. <laughs> All right, so why don't we take a look at some of the language that we saw in Language Takeaway? Language Takeaway. Well, we have three words for you here that、uh, we heard in the dialogue. Um, and the first one, Armand tells Ellen to drag her over here. Right, drag. Drag. So when you drag something or somebody, you pull them across the floor, or pull them across the ground. Pull them, but you don't actually pick them up, right? No. Right. Yeah. Their their body is still touching the ground. Okay, so just imagine if you have a really heavy suitcase. It doesn't have any wheels.、Mm -hmm. You gotta drag it across the floor. Yeah. Right. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, it's happened to me too. <laughs> yeah. So drag. All right, and then he says, "Tie her up." Tie her up. Tie somebody up. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. So to tie somebody up. To use rope. And put it around a person so that they cannot move. Right. So you take rope, you tie a person up, and it's always used like this, right? Tie somebody up. Yes. Tie、exactly. him up. Tie that up. Tie that up. Yeah. Okay. And our last word. I like this one. Fools. 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 So our singular would be fool. Yeah. F O O L. So what's a fool? Well, a fool is a stupid person. Right. A person that doesn't know. Yes. Something、yeah. or an ignorant person.、Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Lois thinks that Armand and <laughs> Ellen are fools.、Here. Exactly. Apparently, she got really angry and and managed to escape、yes. from the chair or whatever where she was tied up. Right.、Mm -hmm. Well, the dialogue was a little bit fast. There was a lot of、uh, sound effects as well. Yep. So let's listen to this dialogue again. We're gonna slow it down a little bit, and I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit easier to understand. Drag her over here and help me tie her up. I can't believe she fell for it. She is a lot more gullible than I thought. Well, you gotta admit, my acting was brilliant. Whatever. I was the one that convinced her to come. Look, she's waking up. What's going on, Ellen? What are you doing? The cat's out of the bag, you witch. You can stop pretending now. Yeah, Lois. We know who you are. Now we want some answers. Why are you here? <laughs> Fools! You don't know who you're dealing with. You can't stop me. Run! 
Well, Marco, I noticed in this dialogue, there's a lot of um, words and phrases that we can use to talk about lying or fooling somebody. Exactly. There is a lot of language about lying. So let's take a look at it in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right. So in Fluency Builder today, let's take a look at four phrases. The first one, fell for it. Fell for it. I can't believe she fell for it. Fell for it. Okay, so it's not that she physically fell, right? No, no. Oh, okay. But she believed the lie. She believed the lie. You mm -hmm. fell for the lie. Yep. I know that we have some examples so we can understand this phrase, fell for it, a little bit better. Example one. He might seem like a nice guy, but don't fall for it. He's a jerk. Example two. I can't believe I fell for your lies. Example three. I told my mom I was going to the library and she fell for it. All right, well, that's a lot clearer to me. Mm -hmm. I noticed that we have the preposition it here. Yeah, it is at the end mm -hmm. and it's referring to the lie. Yes. Or the joke. Mm -hmm. Or the story. Yeah. She fell for the story. But you wouldn't say she fell for the story. You would say she fell for it. Yes. Yeah, so these three words always, always, always go together. Mm -hmm. Fell for it. Mm -hmm. So don't forget the it. <laughs> don't forget the it. Okay. Let's take a look at our second word. Gullible. So Ellen thinks that Lois was gullible. Right. A gullible person. Yeah. Gullible. A gullible person is somebody that always believes. Yes. They always fall for it. They always fall for it. Yeah. They believe anything you say. So I know you were a little bit gullible when you were younger, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, you know what? My grandmother used to tell me every year she would say, oh, I'm 35. <laughs> I'm 35. Um, and... I, I really believed her until I was about 12 years old. Wow. Yeah. So you were really gullible. <laughs> really gullible. But you're not anymore. No, I know better. <laughs> All right. So gullible. A gullible person. Okay. Now let's look at the next phrase. The cat's out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag. Okay. So again, it's not literal. It's not like you had a cat in a bag and no. you let it out. right? <laughs> a nice idiom here, meaning uh, the truth is out. The truth is out. We discovered the truth. Yes. So imagine that the cat is the truth. Right. And mm -hmm. it escaped. Yes. Okay. So the cat's out of the bag. The truth is out. We know the truth now. Yep. Okay. And our last phrase, pretending. 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 So Lois was pretending to be a normal housewife. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to some examples of how we would use pretending. Example one. Pretend that you're my boyfriend and he'll go away. Example two. I can't believe Lucy pretended to be sick. Example three. You forgot my birthday. Don't pretend that everything is okay. Okay, so pretending is acting like you are somebody that you are not. Yes, or, yeah, it's sort of like acting a lie. Okay, so for example, on Halloween, everyone dresses up as a monster mm -hmm. or Spider-Man yep. or something. So everyone pretends to be that character. Yes. But they are not. Yes. Okay, pretending. To pretend. Yeah. Okay, so let's listen to our dialogue one more time, and then we'll come back and talk some more. Drag her, <clears throat> drag her over here and help me tie her up. I can't believe she fell for it. She is a lot more gullible than I thought. Well, you gotta admit, my acting was brilliant. <laughs> Whatever. I was the one that convinced her to come. Look, she's waking up. What's going on, Ellen? What are you doing? The cat's out of the bag, you witch! You can stop pretending now. Yeah, Lois. We know who you are. Now, we want some answers. Why are you here? <laughs> ah, fools! 
You don't know who you're dealing with. You can't stop me. Run! Okay, so what do you think will happen in part five? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> well, what do you guys think will happen in part five? Apparently, Armand isn't a vampire anymore.、Uh, But Lois is a witch. But Lois is a witch. Who's Ellen? What sort of <laughs> twist are we going to see here? Is she an alien? Oh my God. We don't know what will happen, but you can tell us what you think will happen. Come to our website at EnglishPod.com and leave all your questions and comments and maybe your story ideas. Yes, Marco and I are always around to answer your questions、um, and to respond to your comments. So,、okay. guys, I think we're out of time for today, but thanks for listening. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Move something, usually heavy. Drag. To attach someone or something with a rope or string. Tie up. Believe a lie. Fall for it. Easily believing something that is not true. Easily fooled. Gullible. The truth is revealed. The cat's out of the bag. The male form of a witch, man that practices magic. Wizard. Tell the truth when you don't really want to. Tell someone everything. Spill the beans. A state of not knowing where you are. Confused. Disoriented. A person that can't tell the truth lies about anything. Compulsive liar. Used to say that someone is speaking or writing in a very direct and honest way. Frank. Let's try that faster. A state of not knowing where you are. Confused. Disoriented. A person that can't tell the truth lies about anything. Compulsive liar. Believe a lie. Fall for it. The truth is revealed. The cat's out of the bag. Easily believing something that is not true. Easily fooled. Gullible. The male form of a witch, man that practices magic. Wizard. To attach someone or something with a rope or string. Tie up. Tell the truth when you don't really want to. Tell someone everything. Spill the beans. Used to say that someone is speaking or writing in a very direct and honest way. Frank. Move something, usually heavy. Drag. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Fall for it. He might seem like a nice guy, but don't fall for it. He's a jerk. Fall for it. I can't believe I fell for your lie. Fall for it. I told my mom I was going to the library, and she fell for it. Pretend that you're my boyfriend, and he'll go away. I can't believe Lucy pretended to be sick. You forgot my birthday. Don't pretend that everything is okay. Drag. Help me drag my suitcase out of the. Drag. Stop dragging that chair. You're making marks on the. 
Drag. Can you drag that table over here? The cat's out of the bag. I know you're a secret. I'm sorry I let the cat out of the bag about your surprise party. John let the cat out of the bag, so we know all about the surprise trip to Hawaii. Gullible. Sarah is so gullible. She'll believe anything you say. Gullible. I'm not that gullible. You can't fool me. Gullible. You believe that robber when he told you he was a police officer? How can you be so gullible?